Hi, I'm Mrs. White. I'm going to briefly talk about some of the experiences that led me to my teaching career, but more importantly, discuss my teaching philosophy and how I'll use this to govern my teaching effectively. I'm currently in my final year of a Bachelor of Mathematics education at the University of Wollongong. The years of study and research have prepared me for a career in mathematics teaching, but why did I choose this career? Well, initially I chose to be a special effects makeup artist, completing a certificate for and makeup shortly after graduating high school. But throughout my journey in this career, I realized the true passion that lay underneath. Two major events were pivotal in this decision. Firstly, my younger sister, who was in her final year of high school, lost her battle with depression. This traumatic experience caused a great shift in my life and sowed the seeds that would lead to my decision in teaching. And it's also been a major governance of my teaching philosophy and the type of teacher I wish to be, one that helps adolescents through their sometimes turbulent years of high school. The final push into education happened when working on an American summer camp. Those three months showed that I could not only be an effective teacher, but I greatly enjoyed it. I saw the positive impacts I had on campus as I became their confidant, mentor and support. I love teaching not just the subject of makeup, but more importantly, life skills and lessons in resilience that they would use in their future as teenagers and as adults. With these experiences behind me and my years of studying mathematics teaching, I have determined what I believe is a strong teaching philosophy. That is to ready students in becoming successful members of an ever-changing world. And in this, I don't just mean making students active members of a society or community as outlined in the Australian curriculum goals, but rather I aim to have students being successful for themselves. This philosophy aims at building resilience and perseverance in students through the unique challenges we encounter as adults, helping them to be more successful in their day-to-day -day lives beyond high school. Now, I believe teaching mathematics strongly supports this philosophy, not only through the content that is learnt, but through the methods by which it is taught to students. Mathematics explores critical thinking and problem solving skills in a way other subjects may not necessarily do. And when taught effectively, establishing these skills into the learner helps them adapt them for life beyond school by using those skills and connections further. There are many methods I aim to use to implement this teaching philosophy, but I will discuss the core concepts now that I'll govern my teaching with. First, I would look at how learning occurs for my students. From experience, both in private tutoring and in my professional experience placements, I have found a cognitive constructivist approach highly effective in comprehending mathematics. Initially introduced by the theorist Jean Piaget, this approach focuses on constructing meaning from learning and enable students to make sense of their experiences by creating new knowledge and building on existing understandings. And I believe this method would facilitate greater adaptation to life beyond school. Knowing their experiences can be the foundation to learning new concepts would help students navigate the world better and become more resilient learners and people. Extending from this understanding of learning, I would not neglect the importance of differentiating teaching. Students are diverse in their histories, experiences and learning styles. To truly be effective in my teaching, I would adapt this cognitive constructivist approach to the students, acknowledging their individuality and how this would result in different connections being made. Using this effectively would enrich the classroom experience and demonstrate the potential each student carries beyond school. I have seen firsthand how differentiating a lesson increases engagement and memory retainment, both in my placement and private tutoring, so I know this method would be effective. Finally, I would aim at establishing a growth mathematical mindset in my students. Based on the work of Carol Dweck and extended on later by Joe Bowler, I would facilitate students in having the belief that their intelligence is not fixed and can be grown through perseverance. This mindset would allow for greater success in mathematics, but would also establish the ideas of resilience and perseverance that are applicable to life beyond school. So with all of that being said, I hope this has shown you not only how I became a teacher, but also the type of teacher I aim to be and why. And if you ever see me teaching in your class, you know I have your best interest at heart. Thank you.